Hey everybody, Ray the Video Guy here, and today I wanted to show you the insides of Webinar Jam. We just finished doing our first live webinar and everything went perfectly, and so I'm really excited about this product. So I wanted to make a video of my own that kind of shows you exactly what is inside of here. A Webinar Jam, for those of you who don't know, is a way to create webinars out of Google Hangouts. And the great thing about it is you don't really have to know anything about Google Hangouts to be able to do this. Everything is controlled from right inside Webinar Jam. And the best part is it actually has more functionality and better functionality than uh, using GoToWebinar or GoToMeeting. It actually has some very cool features and it's actually easier for the end user. So let me kind of show you what we've got here. You can see I've got, this is Big Content Search, a webinar we just did on March 5th. You can see at, at uh, 4 o'clock Eastern. And uh, we've got that, and then I've got a little test webinar in here, which we'll ignore. That was just something I was playing around with earlier today. But inside of here, this pre-made one that we did, you can see you've got different links that you can use. So you've got the, the registration link. So this is for people that are going to uh, sign up for the webinar beforehand. Then you've got the admin link. This is the super admin link. This is the link that if I'm hosting it, this is what I would use to connect with the Google Hangouts to create that. Uh, you've got a generic live link here. So this is if you are just want to get people into that right before it starts. You can post this on Facebook and say, join us now. And this will take them right to it. Uh, the generic webinar replay. And again, that's exactly like it sounds. This is a replay of the uh, webinar. You've got a sales tracking code. You've got an advanced custom registration hot link. And uh, this is only for advanced users. And I haven't even touched it yet, to be perfectly honest with you. And then, of course, once it's done, you can embed the video into other places right from here. So that's literally just taking the YouTube embed code afterwards so you can uh, embed that on your own page if you'd like. And uh, since this is already a pre-done webinar here, I'm going to go to the replay link and show you what that looks like. Okay, so here's the replay page for the webinar. You can see my internet's a little slow. And so it's just going to start playing the webinar here. No, it's supposed to look blurry. Okay, and uh, you can see that you've got in here uh, a question area. So again, this is not what it looks like when it's live. This is what it looks like when you're doing a replay afterwards. And people inside of here can ask questions. Ask questions. So I'm so in, here, in here. My name's Joe. 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 Put my email. email. And then I would put my question here. And what would happen, what happen when I hit submit? submit. submit. That, question that question would be sent to, sent to my, my email, email or to, in this case, uh, Josh Samora's email. And we would receive that question and be able to answer the questions for the person. So even though they'll know it's not live, it's not pretending to be a live webinar, they know it's not live, and they can still ask questions here. There's also this area here called pop-ins. And what pop-ins are is these are things like, for instance, if you're in the middle of the webinar and you want to give away an ebook during the webinar, it'll pop up here and they can download it. And then maybe at the end when you're selling your product, the product will pop in here. And I've got this set up to, um, to have a pop in for, for big content search. And you can see if we go to, I've got that set to pop up at five minutes. So if we go just about to five minutes here, we'll go to 455. And if, even if we have it on the questions area, watch what happens in three seconds, two seconds, one second. Boom, there it is. You can see it shows a picture of the product, create unique content with the touch of a button, hit this, and it's going to take them to be able to purchase the product. And this is just going to run forever and ever. So anybody who comes here, you know, to watch this is going to be able to purchase this right from this button right here. And so that's how easy that is there. Now, although this webinar is over, we can take a look at what the uh, live link looks like as well. Okay, so this is kind of what it would look like inside the live version of this. Of course, you've got chat, polls, number of attendees, and for some reason it looks like people are still in here. Okay, apparently they didn't leave afterwards. Stragglers. Uh, and you've got your pop-ins as well. Um, now, that because this isn't live, we're not going to be able to see the chat going on. We're not going to be able to see the polls. But if we ran a poll during the live chat, it would pop up in here. People could answer the poll. You can see the other attendees and you can see the pop-ins if we do a pop-in during the live webinar. So this is basically what it would look like inside of there. And of course, uh, if you've got Webinar Jam, you can actually make this a, an affiliate link here. So if they wanna, if they say, wow, this Webinar Jam is cool, they can hit the Powered by Webinar Jam and purchase and you'd get credit for that sale. So just a, a neat little interface for this, but let's go over how easy this is to actually use now.